Not Correct. Good. Rescue one at the end. <laughs> okay, it's pulling up right now. Give it one second. Yes. And after the second one is when he's going to come on and speak after the second one. And then, it, then there's to be a third one. Okay. Oh, we're streaming. All right. You guys ready? Hey. We're streaming. Awesome. We did it. Oh, I'm so excited we did it. I was like, what was going to happen. You good there? Yeah. I'm great. All I'm right. I'm so awesome. proud of you, Blair and Ryan. Nice job. We're so excited to have you guys on. I'm going to hit share really quick. Glenn, I don't know if you want to hit share too. But I'm going to share yeah, that. Absolutely. Let me go find it. Are we on your page, Blair? We are on Ryan and Blair Critch. But I'm about to hit it to, uh, oh, I can't find it. Ryan and Blair. Got it. Last name, you baby's name. This is Oakland. Oakland? Yes. Oh, I, that's funny. How, how did you come up with that? I'm so <laughs> curious. With that symbol behind you, why did they move to LA? Well, my grandmother's name is Lynn, and so therein lies a big compromise. I love it. I now, love let's it. just say I've been a salesman my whole life. I love it, Glenn. That's fantastic. I don't have any kids named Wolverine. <laughs> no. I lost, I lost that one. We, but we did go with profits, right? So we yes. went with Jeremiah and Noah. So. Yeah, he got that. But no right. Wolverine. All right, we're so excited to have you guys. Super excited. Glenn, Thank did you, you get it? I'm doing it right now. Okay, Perfect. awesome. I'm giving, well, I'm giving wait, it right. a super punchy title. Pow! I like it. People will hop up I here. like it. Hammer it we're going to learn from Glenn. He's really good at titles. But so what you guys may not know, and we'll make sure Leslie and Glenn share with you guys in just a few minutes, is they are in two separate locations right now. Huh. And, and not only that, I'm pretty sure you told me, Glenn, you're like driving how many hours to make sure you get back home tonight to help with bedtime? Um, all together, it's seven hours, seven hours. So seven hours of driving and we'll be like here in Nashville, I think a total of six and a half hours. So the, the driving time is double, but it's just really important uh, for me to be home, you know, to be home and help my wife with bedtime, especially bedtime's the, the toughest part of the day for the, for the Lundies, right, babe? I think it's the most important too, for you to yeah. be there to pray with your kids, say goodnight to them. You know, I think they sleep better when daddy's home, right? So. Well, you know. Let's, let's just say with all the kids that we have, if we, you have to play zone defense, right? Oh, like, I love we can't play man on man have, anymore. So we just we run only have two. And it's witching hour is what I call it. It <laughs> yeah. used to be witching hour when they're that age. So, all right. Well, we're so excited. I'm going to let yeah. you uh, go totally. ahead, babe. So uh, welcome to our weekly Facebook Live. So we started a new series. And it's basically what we're going to do on Wednesdays is have power couples on that we're asking, you know, we're going to be flexible in the time. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Power couples. And so, because, you know, since we created the marriage movement, we get tons of questions. Um, a lot of people reach out to us and just ask, like, how do you build businesses, raise a family if you have kids, have individual goals, career goals, and make it all work by still having your spouse number one? Yeah, absolutely. And you might have seen that we posted the title, which I'm super excited about. I will give shout out to Ryan. He came up with it. It is going Brownie to be, points. yep, it's going to be called The Incredible Woman Next to the Man. So that is exactly what yeah, Leslie, Leslie is. Yeah, Leslie liked, liked that, right? It, right? And that's actually, it comes from a Napoleon Hill quote. If you guys have ever read the book, Think and Grow Rich or listened to it, it's yes. no man is happy or complete without the modifying influence of a woman, of a woman, right? So it takes two and the woman has to be a part of it. So we're really excited, to, especially to launch this off because we were with Glenn for a whole week in Greece. Mm -hmm. Shout out to you, Glenn. You were such an amazing uh, energy and fun to be around and God-centered. And it was just such an amazing week to be with you. But during that week, I found out that his beautiful wife Leslie, was at home. And they have seven kids together. Six of them are nine and under, you guys. Take a moment, just think about that. Six. Six. Nine and under. Under the age and of nine. How Leslie, do you even do that? Right? Well, don't answer that. Don't answer that. This is PG. Don't answer that. Very quickly. <laughs> Very quickly. <laughs> what? No, not like that. <laughs> You look beautiful. Right? And, okay, you guys, this is the most impressive part, is that Leslie, shout out to you, you homeschool all six of your kids, right? And even the baby, because we know 
baby is a full-time homeschooling job, right? You're teaching them okay. every single second. Yeah. That beautiful baby, Oakland, she is teaching that baby every single second. So it's so cool. And we just thought there was no better couple to launch this series with than the two of you because you guys have an exact mission for your life. And that is exactly what we want to show. Oh, we didn't, okay. Oakland didn't like it when I said it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we are definitely oh, honored to be here. And those are super, super, super kind words. Greece was amazing. I'm so glad I got to know the two of you. Uh, you guys are an awesome, truly a power couple. The way you feed off each other is incredible. And the way that you love each other is is admirable. It's it's It truly is um, awesome. So we're super, super happy to be here. My wife does not do things like this normally she uh she does not she's not a big fan of the camera Lynn, I yeah, love it. She's yeah she's she's the merchandise i love it nurse. i didn't bring a nursing cover in yeah she's gonna have to use the t-shirt <laughs> that, so that's so that's the new nursing cover right there i love it that was brilliant, by the way, Leslie. Brilliant. <laughs> but no, but uh, so I'm excited because my wife and I don't often get to do things like this. And, um, you know, so this is this is this is cool. I'm, I'm thankful that she's here on camera and I'm thankful we get to do it with you guys. It's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Leslie. I know it's not easy in the middle of the day while you're homeschooling and nursing. And Everything. I know you're busy. So thank you. You're probably even busier than Glenn. So yeah. thank you. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. So we know Glenn, author, speaker, just launching the, you know, the conference, um, host of Rise and Grind at 530 every morning. So we know what you do. High octane, high energy all the time. Today, I'd like to hear from Leslie. Just ah. kind of like while Glenn is launching these businesses, like how do you handle that? What was that like when he's taking off in the infancy stages of the business? Uh, it's all been a transition. Um, I think it, okay, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> the baby's jumping around. Hey, Leslie, she's jumping around. You're gonna, you're gonna get there. You're gonna get their video censored if you're not careful with that. Okay, we're okay. But I forgot your question. Uh, That's okay. Ask again. Yeah. So it's basically like when Glenn's launching these businesses, right? As an entrepreneur, there's kind of millions of things that you have to do. What What is that like? You know, as the as the spouse, how does he keep you first? What is it like in your world? Um, it's it's a little crazy. We uh, we are each other's sounding boards, though, and so oh, as awesome. he's as he's launching these businesses and has a million ideas for many more, um, I get to be the one who hears them all and, and get to kind of walk through them with him. Um, and so that, that becomes our time together is just different focuses. Every time his brain fires a different direction. I love that. That goes directly towards the Napoleon Hill quote, the one, you know, the incredible woman behind us that is, modifying our ideas, harnessing our energy, you know, yeah. keeping us focused, right? I was just going to say like, that was Leslie, that's so beautiful because it's one of the mm -hmm. biggest things that I talk about with women when they say that, or men, when they say that their marriage is starting to go like this because mm -hmm. they're, you know, having a lot of success in one area, but then their marriage is kind of drifting apart. And the biggest thing that I always say is, are you including each other in those new goals and the books that you're reading and the new, you know, things that you're trying to achieve. And are you bouncing those ideas off each other? So I love that you guys do that. That's so cool. It's, it's awesome. Yeah, I love that. That's, that's fantastic. Midnight. What's that? I said all that time from like 4 a.m. to midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn, I can only imagine. So Glenn, let me ask I me, mean, was there a time for you when you, you know, again, just in the, infancy stages when you're launching this and it's kind of full go we're, we're going to get this off the ground and there's a million things you have to do is there a time you you know you just thought man I got to reprioritize well here's the thing I, I, I was in the automotive industry for for 20 years and kind of had the uh I shouldn't say kind of had you know I had a tremendous success in the automotive industry and it was a very comfortable living and and it was easy for me to do uh, but what I noticed rapidly as as all of these kids were, were, were growing up is I noticed that, you know, 70, 80, 90 hour work weeks 
leaving the house at, uh, you know, 530 in the morning so that I could get to the gym so that I could work out so that I could go to work. And then I'd get home from work at nine, nine thirty, ten o'clock at night. Um, and my wife, you know, here she was homeschooling the kids, taking care of breakfast, lunch and dinner, all of those things. And though it our relationship, our love for one another uh, never strained through that whole period, she was always supportive of me being in that season of my life. I started to realize that, you know, we're, there, there's more there. There's, we're, we're better together, right? We're better together where we were good running, running, running side by side, but we're better together. So when I decided to leave automotive and go down this path, uh, one, one thing that was really special is the day that I quit my job was unexpected. It was not planned. My wife was about to have a baby any second. Um, uh, and I, yeah, that baby right there. And, uh, my, wife, my wife's always about to have a baby any second, right? <laughs> um, but no, but so I quit my job. She didn't know that was happening. I didn't know that was happening, really. And when I came home, I remember pulling in the driveway. She was stepping out into the garage to grab a, uh, a soda or something. Throw away she, a dirty diaper. Or throw away a dirty diaper. And she just looked at me and she's like, what are you doing here? And... I told her I quit my I quit my job and I never in our entire marriage I've never seen my wife smile bigger than she did oh. right there in that moment which I went home like fearful right like oh my gosh what are we gonna do you know I'm the breadwinner we're about to have a baby my wife's gonna freak out what what kind of stress is this gonna put on her but she smiled ear to ear. And that's when I knew, you know, this is my, I've always known that she's my, my partner, my ride or die. Uh, but she just confirmed it, you know, in that moment, my wife and I talk about it often. We have family and we have friends and we have a lot of people that we have connections with and that we do life with, but ultimately it's team Lundy, right? It's team Lundy. It's me and my wife. And so she supports my decisions. I, she knows, you know, I know my role in the relationship and she knows hers. Uh, and, and so I support when, when she says, Hey, I want to homeschool all the kids. I'm like, okay, I don't know much about the homeschool thing, but if that's your heart, then that's what we're going to do. And same thing with when I started, uh, the entrepreneur type saying that's where she was. She's like, I don't know this side of the world. I don't know how it works, but I trust you. Uh, and that's, what's been the best part about it. That's awesome. Uh, hey, oh, she wants so she can come on and wave to the family, the Facebook that's, land. Oh. That's hey. simply savvy. She's never met a camera she doesn't like. I love it. Very photogenic. She's wearing that robe at two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> that's right. That's a huge advantage. Oh, hey. <laughs> I wonder where they get that from, Glenn. Loving the camera, buddy. I like it. <laughs> From so their mother, the, clearly from yeah. their mother. Yeah. So with a successful business now, and Leslie, you're homeschooling the six kids. Where do you find time for each other? Uh, late at night. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really. Um, yeah. We stay up later than we should, given what time we get up in the morning. Yeah. Um, but to be sure that we get that time. And sometimes so it's a priority for you guys? Once we finally play whack-a-mole and succeed and get them all in the bed, <laughs> that's our time. And sometimes that's just watching a show on Netflix and holding hands. And then other times it's hearing and discussing, like like we said, all the things raging through his brain wow. constantly. And, um, but that's, that's our time. And yeah. a lot of text messages throughout the day. <laughs> No doubt. And you know, it didn't used to be like that, Ryan. Like I used to, I used to go upstairs, right? Like I would go, I would go upstairs, turn on the TV, uh, watch whatever I wanted, you know, to watch. My wife would be downstairs because we like different stuff. Like my wife, my wife can watch Everybody Loves Raymond over and over and over and over and over and over like she can watch it and and I just can't like that's not that's not my dig so I would go upstairs watch my shows she would have her shows and for a long time it was it was like that um and it that did put a, a big time stress you know kind of on our relationship and so we decided at some point I'm not exactly sure when but I just decided you know I'm going to bed when my wife goes to bed and 
and 78% of the time we'll watch her shows and the other 20% of the time she'll let me watch mine. Um, but we just hang out in bed and we eat uh, Dairy Queen blizzards and M&Ms and all the stuff we can't eat all day because there's kids everywhere. We have fun together. Yeah, <laughs> you have fun together. I love it. That's right. And so that's kind of our, that's our sacred place. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, that's our sacred place. That's where we talk and, and, and unload and, and just share all that. So I know it's not fancy or exotic or, you know, anything crazy, but that's our, that's our safe place. And that's how we keep our relationship strong. Yeah. Was that a love tap? No. Oh. I was, I, I got a knee underneath. I think she's just moving her legs. So I wasn't exactly <laughs> sure <laughs> Well, you know how I'm sure you guys know how different touches mean different things, right? So I was trying to, I, that one was not comprehensible. So I was just trying to, a little bit. you know what that was. I love, I love the bedroom thing. We took the TV out of our bedroom three years ago now. Yeah. Yeah. Three years ago. And it changed our life. And the same thing that you said, Glenn, about just going to bed at the same time. I used to stay up and watch TV you know, different shows and, you know, Blair likes to, you know, she usually goes to bed early and now at least we go to bed at the same time and we read a book or something. So, yeah, um, I mean, that, that's fantastic. So one thing that you shared with me um, this morning is that now you have started to work together more closely on the rise and grind. And I'm just curious because we do the same thing. How is that going? Um, how do you guys interact together business wise? <laughs> Look at her already. It's actually gone really well so far. Um, like you said, we're different people. And I'm not the vocal, um, social, all those things he is. And so it's balanced in that I get to do the things that um, I excel at which is organization and follow through and remembering and <laughs> and he just talks about them. So yeah. not just talk, I mean, so. right. But um, the yin and yang is balanced business wise as well. Yeah. And it's been really exciting because my wife, you know, she like, there's an email account for our rising grind gear and at first, like I was in there and looking at the emails and stuff. She just like shut me out. She's like, this is, you're out. You don't have to log in anymore. I handle the emails, um, but it's great because she allows me to walk in my strengths mm -hmm. and we allow her to walk in her strengths. And I trust her to get the job done. She trusts me to get the job done. But so we'll check we just to be sure. We do check to make sure. But as, as long as there's not too much crossover, it seems to be going um, pretty smooth. I just stay out of her way, basically. Is that kind of like stay in your lane? I was about to say that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. But that allows you to truly use the gifts and talents that God's given you, right? And, when you can, and what's so cool in a marriage is seeing how you guys know those gifts that God's given your spouse and really allowing each other to take those and run to, to form something really huge for your family. So cool. Yeah, man. Super, yeah, super excited. Glenn, um, will you share a little bit just about the upcoming conference in, in Nashville, how people can register, you know, for that? and A conference in Nashville? Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah. Do you know anything about that? For God's sake, it's awesome, man. I could share for days. How much time do we have on the show? Because we could talk about this. I am here in Nashville right now at Cornerstone Nashville Church. This is a mega church. I got my man, Steve Brewster. He's actually sitting right over here waiting for me. Michael's over here. They're all waiting so that we could walk around and map this thing out because we are getting ready to have the most extraordinary conference that I've ever been a part of uh, that probably the world has ever seen. Literally, it's going to be that spectacular. I've There's got my humble babe. <laughs> 
<laughs> We've got Sharon Lecter, the co-author of Rich Dad Poor Dad. She's going to be speaking. I got uh, Brian Binstock, the number one uh, Honda dealer in the world. We've got Steve Brewster, the guy I just mentioned over here, who created Wholesale Inc. Went from selling a wholesale piece off little corner lots to building this massive, massive. They're now the number one distributor of wholesale vehicles in the United States of America. So all these incredible business owners that are going to be at this conference speaking. But what makes it really incredible? and really special is that every single one of them loves God big time. Every single one of them grew their business and stood in their faith while doing so. And every single one of them grew their business for God's sake. They all give back on a massive level. And that's what the conference is all about here in Nashville, Tennessee, is I want to use my network, my, my resources to help show people how to grow their business. Cause I know if we can show them how to make more money, then they can go out and make a bigger impact on this planet by giving back. So the conference is August 16th and 17th, right here in the building I'm at now, which is the Cornerstone um, Nashville Church here in Nashville, Tennessee. And I'm super excited because you guys are going to be here and this girl's going to be here. Everybody's going to be here and that, and that guy, and it's going to be awesome. So hopefully those of you that are watching will be here too, which you can get your tickets at growforgod.com. We'll How put that? that link in the comments, guys. Don't worry. We'll put that link in the comments. And you can come and hang out with Ryan and I. Yeah. We'd love to see you there. I'm super excited to get to hang out with Leslie while yes. we're there. Sorry, Glenn. I am excited to hang out with you too, but I'm more excited <laughs> to hang out with your wife. She seems pretty awesome. She and is. so we're really cool. pumped about it. And you guys, as I'm listening to Leslie and Glenn today, it's just reminding me over and over again about why we're going to do these weekly interviews. Because we, since we started Marriage Movement, we've had so many people ask us, like, how do I keep my marriage as a priority? How do I get back to having a happy marriage while I'm growing a business? Or I've got a really busy career. Or I've got these different things going. Or my kids are, you know, super busy all the time. And we can't figure out how to do it. These people, Leslie and Glenn, right now, this is a great example of a couple who is extremely busy, who has a hundred different things going different directions. And they're still making time to make sure that their marriage is a priority. And it sounds like you guys have a fun marriage too. So do you guys have any last minute things that you want to say to, to the people that are watching any last minute advice well, you kind of <laughs> i don't mean to lean forward but i'm like having trouble i love it. I love it no i love it lean in it makes me want to lean in <laughs> um oh man this is why i don't do this part um you all have said a few times about keeping your husband or wife first and um i don't mean to come on your show and turn it upside down but I think what is crucial for us is that Glenn and I aren't first. Um, mm. God is first for us. And then uh, once that foundation is there, everything else is, is um, an outpouring of his blessings. And uh -huh. so Glenn and uh -huh. I have really worked hard to, to make that our focus and make that um, how our relationship is formed. And I, I can't think of any other reason that the two of us nutheads work other than the one we focus on um, unites us. So, so that would be my two cents. I love, I love it. it. We 100% agree. We're, we're with you. High five. So awesome, Leslie. <laughs> and I also just want to add, because somebody messaged me while I've been on here. I'm not drinking a beer. A Heineken. It looks like a Heineken. <laughs> I thought, now we know. What's got a bottle of ALA. Oh, like the secret, secret guys. <laughs> the secret is sit there drinking all day with the kids. <laughs> it's an ALA, which is like a ginger ale, but specific to our region. It's made like three miles from our house. And it's That's lovely funny. and delicious, and it's what's going to get me through the next many hours of this day. <laughs> so I just wanted to clarify because I just realized not everybody's from Paris, Kentucky. And That's a good idea. You'll probably be getting a lot of uh, uh, private messages. Nursing yeah. a baby and drinking a beer. But, yeah, it's <laughs> awesome. Hey, the only thing I want to say is just communicate, man communicate 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 my wife and i talk about everything the good things the bad things the things i'm afraid to tell her like i'll be scared to tell her i think it's gonna upset her or whatever we we talk about those things and she she talks to me about everything um you know good the bad the ugly just talk about it because all of these fears that we have or these 
um, you know, apprehensions of sharing or, or maybe they're going to feel less there, make, you know, whatever, whatever it is, all of the lies that we tell ourselves to keep things from our spouses is, is that's exactly all they are. They're just, they're just lies. So my wife and I's relationship started off rocky. It wasn't the best in the beginning, um, but it has transcended. Is that the right word? It has evolved. It has evolved. It has been sanctified. Into, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's right. But it has evolved, evolved into something spectacular, mainly because of that, because we got through that whole, let's keep things from each other, you know, don't ask, don't tell type stuff. And now we just communicate. We talk openly um, and it makes it, you know, I can't even remember the last time we used to fight like cats and dogs, man. We used to fight over the silliest stuff and now we disagree, but we don't fight anymore. We just, we just have conversations um, and we move through them. And so that would be my, my little two cents. My, my two minute takeaway uh, is just, just communicate, just talk openly. And like my wife said, put God in the middle and everything will be great. So true. Isn't it an yeah. awesome way to live, Glenn, when there's just the communication lines are wide open? You don't have to hide anything. You're just yourself. And, you know, it's just one last thing to worry about. Absolutely. Awesome, awesome advice. So I'm so glad you shared that. Less at least. Than the oh, guest. Go ahead. I just read a quote this morning and I don't remember who it was now. So it's probably bad. But um, that said, when you tell the truth, you don't have to remember anything. Because Perfect. Yes. If you lived it. It was there. Yeah. And I like, I like to keep it simple. Is that why yeah. I forget everything now, <laughs> nowadays? Because I just, <laughs> I have you don't have memories. enough time for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. All right. All right. Well, we are so thankful that you guys joined us today. Thanks so much. You guys, we'll put in the comments below the link for Grow for God's Sake. You don't want to miss that conference. And if you like to start your day, making sure you're on the right path, keeping your mind focused where it should be and ready for success for the day, then you want to join Glenn Lundy at 5.30 a.m. every single morning for hashtag rise and grind. Yep. It's an awesome way to start your day. And we're so thankful that you guys shared with us today, just making sure that everybody knows that in their relationship, they are better together. So thanks guys for joining us. Leslie, I loved getting to know you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Leslie. Nice to meet you all. All right. Bye, Thank guys. you guys. Thanks for having us on. Thank Appreciate you. it. Bye. Bye.